playing a little bit of VR Skyrim today. I uh, just got this yesterday. And uh, holy crap, is this ever awesome. Uh, so I uh, started a little late. We're going to get into the fun stuff though here where uh, we're going to actually get out of the caves. Um, so, and then you're going to get to see the full wondrous glory of Skyrim VR. So, um, this is my seventh copy of Skyrim. Thank you, Bethesda. Bought the Skyrim for uh, Xbox 360 originally. Wait. And then got it for PS3. And then Xbox One and PS4 when the Special Edition came out. And then I got the Legacy go. Edition for the PS3. Like he's gone for good this time. And now... No VR. way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of So here. as you can see, it's sister, pretty freaking amazing. Just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. So we'll just take a real quick stop here and take a look at how wonderful this is. Um, I mean, it's once we get into the forest, you're going to be able to see it's just absolutely phenomenal. And here I am, I'm just sitting in my basement, <laughs> uh, in one spot, just looking around. And who'd have thought? Um, one of the first things I said when we got VR was I was hoping that they would do Skyrim in VR, and well, it came true. I wish uh, Fallout 3 would come out in VR as well, but you know, you should go to beggars can't be choosers, I guess. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. So let's just get away from this dude and just go kind of do some exploring. Will know what the coming of the dragon is. So, little fox over there. One of the things that I is a little disappointing about uh, this is that you can actually see it's pretty pixely it seems a little oh who's this dude up here where are you So if I'm not mistaken, that's Helgen up there. You had to escape from it. Oh. And we got ourselves a fox. The downsides to the uh, to this VR system is. Um, You'll see every once in a while, as you can see, when I'm turning, it's very choppy. Uh, it's not very fluid. I kind of wish it was a little more fluid. But, uh... I guess... You don't have to turn yourself. You can, uh... Oh. So if you just move your body a little bit, you can basically run around without having to turn your around. So let's take a little walk down the mountainside. <laughs> this is pretty freaking awesome. And if I'm not mistaken, this is where a bunch of um, hmm. let's try and go down the side here. This is where there's going to be a bunch of raiders here. Hey! 
Hey! Yep, that's all I got. Let's go into the cave. Drop. As you can tell, I've played this game quite a bit. <laughs> it's pretty bad when you know where all the traps and everything are. Oh, I remember this one now. Okay, so let's go to items. Can we set up our hotbar here? Yes, we can. We can favorite. So let's do a favorite of that. Favorite. Favorite. That does nine. That does nine. Okay. Again. Perfect. Don't forget the rock trap we picked up. So, stop your worrying, get some rest. What was that? Whoa. Nice. That's interesting. All I gotta do. Wow. Nothing in the pot. If I'm mis not mistaken, there is. Oh, this is freaky. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I guess I am mistaken. I thought there was a chest here. down here that talks about how awful it was that these guys started doing crap to them we'll take it we'll take the coin purse let's go see what's up here I gotta stand up. Let me 
is my bar. There's my bar. Okay. Sure, I heard something. I picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Oh, right in the head, right in the throat. Let's go see what's in this chest. What do we got here? Nice. Take her all. Uh, Grinch. Don't I don't use two-handed much. What's so? Cabbage. Wow. Salt would be nice. Oh, let's take a look and see what's in here. Ugh. Ah, look at that salt. Okay, we're getting kind of not necessarily disoriented, but disoriented, but we're kind of going all over the place. Okay. Here. Let's. Oh, I have to pick it. Okay, let's go this way. Back there, and a dude over. All right, let's see if we can. Nice. Okay. 
Right over here. Book. Yay! Oh, Christ. That would have been nice just two seconds ago. Nothing. Yeah, I can't do it any. So let's go into the items here and let's add some things to us. As it stands right now, the only thing I'm wearing is Stormcloak Curse and for boots. I might put on some Imperial stuff here. Uh, Imperial boots, heavy armor. I like to keep light. There's some light boots. Light helmet, what's the curse at? 23 I think is probably the best. Light bracers. Imperial studded armor is better. Okay. Uh, or not. Oh, there it is. Gold and arrows. Well, that's nice. The, there's a little icon in there that tells me how many arrows I have left. That's excellent. All right. Look what we have here. Cabbage. A chest that has some stuff in it. My favorite charge skeever. Oh, and I'm out of the play area again. And there is a chest over there. I'm just trying to remember how to get to that chest. It's definitely not this way. And we can cheat on it by doing that. And here we go. There's a coin purse. Okay, let's do some lock picking. Bingo. Golden stamina potion. All right, let's get out of here. Totally missed it. <sighs> Weapon. Uh, cut screen and now it appears to be evening in the beautiful province of Skyrim so as you can see let's put our weapons away here it uh, is pretty amazing um, what would be really interesting 
is if um, Bethesda includes their mods uh, with this version of Skyrim. I don't know how that would, I don't know if that would work. I'm assuming there'd be some compatibility issues because there are some really good mods out there for the Skyrim Special Edition. Skyrim in general. Um, one of them is the Evening Sky that, oh look at that. One of them is an Evening Sky mod that actually uh, gets rid of most of this cloud and I believe there's like a beautiful Aurora Borealis and yeah let's just take a minute to just be inspired and take the awe in of how much nature is in this game how beautiful it is we get so caught up in playing the game and I mean we don't take that time to actually look at the little details of the fuzz flying through the air at night you know the clouds the stars the beautiful moon and you look and there's a mountain right in front of you you know gorgeous gorgeous what is it woman spend drunk on the job again we're in Riverwood you look like a traveler Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. I saw Dragon and Helgen. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Whiterun? Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Okay. We won't get into that quest yet. Until next time. Let's go over and take a look at here. No. Did you hear? The Riverwood Trader was robbed. Poor Lucan must be torn to pieces over it. Huh. By sure, what do you want? I want to use a tanning rock, lady. You should so. come hear me play at the Sleeping Giant Inn. Sure. For a small sum, you can even pick this off. Oh, yay. So let's uh, do some work on some armor here, hopefully. Uh, we got the Stormcore Curse, which is 23. I'm not wearing that right this second. I'm wearing... Where am I? Well, we can upgrade that. Upgrade that. Okay, well, let's just do these fur boots. Just for the hell of it. Now, we can do some sneaky little things. Like this. Whoops! Somebody found me. Let's go over here and and apparently that's all we can upgrade, huh? Now I have a bounty on me. That's just awesome. Feindall oh. thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling Oh, so there. Now we can start that quest. You look like a traveler. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. 
I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still, you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Sure. I'd better get going. Yeah. Chicken. So, if I'm not mistaken, we gotta come over here. Because my traveling companion is right here. Now, one of the really sure cool things, now. and I guess we'll it's no, it's not in this one. Where we'll is it? I let them into no, the it's house, right so here. Isn't that we'll awesome? Look at these ants. Hmm. There's bugs all over. Good luck. Buddy. Amazing. I'll see you later. Anyway, let's Don't go have a talk with this lady. New to Riverwood? I know. If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Sure. Uh, Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Okay. Wait. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. I told you my sister would help us out. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. Hope to see you in Windhelm. Yeah, let's just go to the house. Hello there, Mr. Dog. Mm. I believe this is their house. I have the key now. It looks like beans are cooking in there. <laughs> so let's see what we can make. Oh, look at that. We can make apple cabbage stew, cabbage soup, pheasant roast, potato soup, Robert Hanch. Mm -mm -mm. I think that might be it. More salt. But I do love me some cheese. Let's get that cheese. Mm -mm. And if we grab some bread, make a cheese sandwich. Yummy, yummy, yummy. More cheese. Lots of flour here. I have never figured out in all my years playing Skyrim. Um, I believe the flour was added in on the, uh, the, uh, uh, vampire DLC, I can't remember what the, uh, what it is, what Dawnstar, I believe is what it was called. Um, I think they added that in, but I've never figured out, um, what it's used for. Let's go read a book. And this book's amazing. It's just in the, in thin air. It's great. VR. Just love it. We're a small village, but we work hard. Cross the river and then head north. It's my meal. Some folks think, of course. 
There is something you could do for me, for all of us here. I own the lumber mill and pay a fair wage. See my husband Hod if you're looking for work. Only worry we've got is the war reaching this far. Years pass. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Damn right. Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Hmm. So. Come over here. There is a coin purse. Now, these people are so nice to us, but haggling potion is always really good. A little story about their relationship. Some more gold. Check the wardrobe. Nothing. Petty soul gem. More gold. And oh, well, would you look at that? There's more gold. And more gold. Plenty of gold for the taking. Now, if this guy would quit his drinking, you might be able to pit pocket. And then we can find out what other little things she... So, usually what I like to do is I like to do a quick save. Um, and that way I don't get myself in trouble. Pit pocket. Just like that. So we'll go back and load. <laughs> Obviously, my pickpocketing uh, really sucks. A new face, and the right ugly one at that. Okay, so what is this quest? Talk to Gertrude. Well, we've no already talked to her. So are we going to end up with these same... We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. Of course. Take what you need. Okay. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay, for sure. I don't think there's much else here to do. Um, well, again, I love me my cheese, especially Eldar cheese. Let's see if we can make anything else now. Vegetables. Yum yum. Fight or die well. Sure. Next Imperial. See, is dead. All right, let's go. <sighs> so, what we can do is uh, over here, as you mentioned, as they mentioned, the lady over there said that this place had been, the trader had been broken into. So we'll go and take a peek and see what the deal is here. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. Walk in no adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. 
Oh. <clears throat> Customer. Sorry, now, I had to hear that. Stop your fighting. Know your place, lady. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my of last ship. It's yours if you bring my claw back. All right. If you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think you're Shout. the helper here. Some well, let's see call what we've got some junk. for sale. Me, I call them treasures. Yeah. Okay. So let's go in here. I've got plenty of crap to get rid of. Okay, let's see what you got. What a surprise, all the stuff I just sold you. Not quite at the point where they have, oh, here we go, necklace of minor blocking. Yeah. There's not a lot of uh, magical items yet. But uh, no, I buy the eight fine, but only buy the eight. So uh, let's go into here and items. Let's go into books. And let's check out these spells. The eight. edge of town. This way. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. We have to go through town and across this way. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Okay, well, where are we gonna go? Let's go. This way. This way. This way. Yeah, let's go then. This way. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. 
He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This way. Guess she only likes it if I walk on her. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to right the northwest side. leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Okay. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> I, uh, I wish this bar was a little higher up. So you could actually see where you were going. <gasps> Creepy castle. Yes, I think there's frost trolls around here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. But of course, we have to go and check Curry Castle. What? Now, ain't this a surprise? Whoa. Crap, did that take long to level up? Whoa! Holy crap! Well, this is new for me. Uh, well, this is the map. And this is a really, really cool map. Holy crap! Um... Yeah, if any of you ever played Skyrim, you'll notice that the, the map was very much like this. But... Uh, it, when it comes to VR, you're just, you're hovering over, <laughs> you're hovering over it, um, and this is, wow, this is absolutely fabulous, holy Jesus, wow, I'm in, I'm, I'm stunned, I'm in awe. Riften, the good old town of Riften, where we go become part of the Thieves Guild. Um, yeah, this kind of took me for a bit of a loop. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty amazing. Wow, pretty amazing. And actually, this is a new feature here, this beam of light heading up into the cosmos <laughs> um, and it uh, shows you where you are so you always know where you are yeah that's very cool 
Let's try the level up. Hooray! Oh, look at that! So we can take a look down. This was never part of it. Um, as you can see, there's this cool um, ruin on the ground. Uh, and uh, all the info you need to know about leveling up. Uh, I always level up my stamina. Um, wow. I love this setup. <laughs> and as you can see, you're in the center of the ruin, and you can see all the different um, abilities uh, that you can perk up. Um, usually what I'll perk up first is um, my archery, my uh, one-handed um, I tend to use archery a lot, um, but I also tend to use one-handed a lot too. And the other thing I like to do is uh, the lock picking. Um, and oh, well, this is fabulous! As you can see, so you can't really see it from this from this angle. But here's the progression tree that goes all the way up. And as you can see, you can look right down the progression tree to where you were before. This is fabulous. Wow. Holy crap. That's pretty amazing. So here's Treasure Hunter, Lock Expert. And I just slowly make my way down. This is where I started with Nervous. And as you can see, if you look up, here's the apprentice. We go off this way to Quick Hands, this way to Wax Key, and yeah, fabulous. You just travel through the ethereal to these. This is Skyrim. This is this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, let's get back to it. Um, let's go check out what this bandit's got. Oh, they have some arrows. We should probably take those arrows. Uh, we'll go check this orc out here. And then we'll go up to the top and see what... Take that. Let's go see what's upstairs. Look at the window. Wow. Nice little drop. Um, over there is where we're heading to. Probably be hitting lots of draggers there. More cabbage. Nothing. Nothing. So pal, that's what I'm looking for. Nothing over there. Wow. This really sucks. And here's the well, there's the loot we get. <laughs> So cold, so cold.
Dude, right there. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. What's down in there? Uh, the awe and wonderment of Skyrim. The buildings are amazing. It just... Oh, let's go check this guy out over here that we killed. That's the other thing, if you've never played Skyrim, you're always taking stuff off of people. Me, it's always weapons. Um, gold, jewelry. Um, if they have better weapons, if they have better armor. But usually I leave that crap alone. Um, because most of them are just carrying the same stuff that I'm carrying. So. <laughs> uh, one of the things they've changed here that I've noticed is. Uh, Come on. Time to end this. Uh. All right, well, the arrow. play is kind of crappy but I should have been able to hit them from that far but whatever anyways uh, lots of dead skeevers it's always a good sign uh, so is dead bandits less guys that you have to take on Bingo. All right, so uh, one of the other things that I probably should show if you've never played Skyrim, um, you can do all these different little things. Uh, one of the things that will uh, up your um, skills 
is ingredients. So as you can see, you have four ingredients or four things are unknown under each ingredient. Um, when you take it, so we'll take a look at bear claw. I'll eat it, and it tells me what I've discovered. So uh, bone meal will do the same thing. Tells me what I've discovered. You can do that for each one of the things that you found, and that will slowly take your. Um, I think it's, uh, um, I can't remember which is your alchemy. It will take your alchemy skill up. So, okay, now that we're dealing with this, Probably gonna get into hand-to-hand -in -hand combat here. I probably won't use the arrows much uh, because we'll be dealing with draggers. Bastards. Uh, it's always the good to check up in these areas here. Uh, sometimes they leave chests. down oh awesome so here we come to one of the wonderful things about Skyrim our puzzle doors um <laughs> so as you can see we have a whole bunch of different puzzles um, this one if I'm not mistaken uh, the answer is up there so over here as you can see you have these so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a look up at the top it's a snake we're going to change this to the snake the next one is well it fell off as you can see so it's fallen down here which is another snake snake and then the third one is a whale I don't get it a whale but and then we come over to this little contraption press it Wow and the door opens it's always a good thing to always check up here because you never know what you might find like a healing potion. Now we come into here. And, oh, empty, of course. So sometimes what you'll do, uh, sometimes what'll happen is you come on, you see these treasure chests. Uh, sometimes they'll have a little string that's 
attached to the side. It's fairly noticeable. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to... Uh, oh, my pickpocket increased. Yay! Um, I can honestly say I've never actually read any of the books in Skyrim. <coughs> I know they give a lot of info to the lore, but quite frankly, I'm here to, uh, I'm here to play the game. You know, I love the adventure. Oh, you little bastards. Bastards. They caught me. Okay, now we'll switch over to hand to hand for a while. Weak paralysis potion. Scroll of fireballs. Guess where we are. Oh yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do in this case is we're Aren't you a big fella? Yeah, you can just hang on. Like I said, there's always stuff around. Yummy egg sacks. I'm not gonna leave you behind, just relax. Get me out of here. Most of you know there's a reason why we're gonna you, over here. You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Mm. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Don't leave me for RK's sake. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? And that's why you don't trust this retard. Actually, one of the other things 
I didn't realize for a very long time was that as a depending on who you are that's interesting where did that come from hmm So these are your active effects. So basically everything that's happening, or everything that you do, this is or anything that's affecting you, these are your active effects. So when a Khajiit fights, you automatically do an extra 15 points of damage when you're in a brawl. Um, one of the other powers that Khajiits have are these night eyes. So, which kind of helps out when you're looking. I tried to look into the dark, so like right here. And as you can see, it kind of lightens things up a little bit. Always some different things to, to know. I didn't realize it for a little while until I started actually going through stuff. And now we're in with the draggers. Great. So as you can see, there's draggers all through here. There's one right there. Um, we can take it out with the bow. Or maybe we can't. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, another thing you can do is if your sneak is up high enough, you can usually just uh, walk up to these guys and kill them in their tombs. That's a lot easier. Um, there's another drawer. Caution. Nice little stone hanging out. Oh, look at that. Look what happens. And those things are all over the place. There's little things all over. Oh. up again. Let's do stamina again. This time, actually let's do lock picking again. Oh, I can't do it yet. thing I loved about Skyrim was the the music 
Music is absolutely fabulous. One of the uh, awesome things about um, uh, the special edition and the uh, the mods uh, is uh, some wonderful guy took the best of a couple of worlds uh, and added the sound from or the music from uh, oh. Uh, some guy added the music from one of my favorite movies, uh, Conan the Barbarian. So there is a um, there is a full Conan the Barbarian quest add-on. Um, I tried it. It, it; it was very buggy, so uh, didn't follow the the one. The one add-on would uh, play uh, the Conan the Barbarian theme song when uh, whenever um, whenever uh, you got into combat, and any time you went into a bar, it played the little bar theme, and so it was interesting. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our weapons again. Um, we've now got an, an Ancient Nord bow. I'm not too sure if that's a little bit better than the longbow. Oh, yes, it definitely is. So let's add that. Ancient Nord arrows are better than iron arrows. So, now that we have this stuff, let's use our weapons against them. And if you recall, I had said to you earlier um, to always go and take a look. Here's a lock pick. Yeah, this is Apprentice, so very high. But if you're gentle, Shiza. If you're gentle, you can usually get them. Fucker. I should get it on this one. Not much. Oh, please, I'm going to go through this death trap.
damage. This is a nifty feature, being able to pick up your arrows. Um, you, I'm assuming it used to always be possible, um, but on the PlayStation 3, the graphics were... Uh, it was really hard to see anything like an arrow. Um, now... It's pretty amazing just to be able to turn around and see your ears lying on the ground. Amazing. Let's just take a minute to take a peek around. I got a stretch to you, so. <sighs> Pretty amazing. Okay. Chest. Nothing else here. Dungeon, or down through the cave, and we might be able to see what's going on here and there. Not really. Uh oh. That's not gonna help. And another one of the wonderful things about Skyrim is getting caught in the terrain. Ah, uh, crap. Shaznut. Unfortunately, I guess that's going to be the end of it. I'm going to have to... Uh, Stop broadcasting and uh, come back and do this again. Wonderful. Anyways, that's uh, Skyrim VR the first little bit. Uh, Werewolf 73 here. Um, yeah. We'll try and do some more broadcasting in another time. Cheerio. Have a wonderful day. And uh, come on back, and uh, we'll play some more Skyrim VR. Tulu.